questions for you. We won't okay. keep you too long. All right, guys, it's Bogey Pals Golf out here at the Valspar Championship. Uh, we're here with our fellow Canadian, Adam Hadwin. Uh, we're going to be asking him a few questions. And uh, yeah, if you want to start off with the first one there. Yeah, so we know you won this course back in 2017. Yeah. So how are you feeling with the course this year? And uh, any holes complimenting your game so far? Yeah, I mean, this is, uh, this is always a great golf course to come back to. Uh, I feel like you have to be on top of your game here. Um, you got to hit, you know, you got to strike it well, tee to green. Um, some of the best greens I think we'll play all year. Uh, you know, you guys saw on the pro end there pretty quick. Exactly. Uh, yeah. And so, yeah, looking forward to a good week. Um, you know, it's nice driving through, seeing your banner, uh, remembering some of the good shots that you hit in previous years and all that. So, uh, work to be done, but uh, yeah, looking forward to a good week. Awesome. And then I got one for you. Uh, we got a bunch of Canadian followers, so I wanted to ask you, what was it like growing up playing golf in BC, and how was that transition to, uh, I know you played at Louisville, I think, yeah. in college, so yeah. what was that like growing up playing out there and then transitioning to college golf? Yeah, I mean, certainly two different worlds, right. uh, for sure, going across the country like that, but um, I mean, you know, as, as most people would know, I mean, if you're going to pick a place to grow up playing golf, Lower Mainland's probably the best in Canada anyways, right? right? I mean, we got the best uh winter weathers for it and stuff so um yeah a lot of rain days a lot of a lot of rainy golf in the winter time but yeah um you know very fortunate my dad was in the business and so i had access to a lot of you know uh, clubs or uh you know, golf courses and stuff that maybe some others didn't so that was uh, a bonus and yeah i just kind of i kind of found my way to louisville um they had a great team, uh, had a good offer, and uh, I really enjoyed my time there. Very different from BC. Right. Uh, we're kind of borderline south there, Midwest south. So, Definitely. A um, little bit different. Um, certainly dealt with a lot more humidity than I was used to. For sure. <laughs> um, but uh, great city. I had uh, I had a great time there, and, and uh, I'm actually looking forward to getting back there for the PGA this year. Did you and Nick both uh, go to high school together, was it? Or? No, we didn't. So, uh, yeah, Nick and I grew up about 10 minutes apart, but we did, we did go to different high schools. Okay, same club? Yeah, so we both grew up kind of playing Ledgeview. Okay. Um, Nick's a year younger, and um, we didn't play a lot of golf growing up together. We really didn't get that close until uh, once we both, both had turned pro. We lived together for a while. We tried to Makes sense. Okay. Yeah. So, what has been your favorite moment on the PGA so far? Oh, good question. Um, I mean, I think you could probably go back to that 2017 year. Um, yeah. I mean, I guess outside of uh, maybe a Presidents Cup, I think I think making both those Presidents Cup teams were special. Playing those events was, was, was amazing. Um, but outside of that, yeah, between. You know, shooting 59, um, and then the win here, you know, a couple months after was, it was an, excuse me, it was a nice little run. It's a good year. Good year. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was a nice little run. For sure. Awesome. And then the last one for you, um, once again, we're Canadians. Can you walk us through that experience at the Cana RBC Canadian Open there? I know you've probably answered <laughs> yeah. this question a million times, but yeah. thought it'd be fitting to bring it up since we're from the area. So Yeah. Um, <laughs> obviously, of course, you didn't expect to be tackled. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, I was approached by, I think, sort of Brian Crawford, tournament director. There was myself, Corey, and, and Mike Weir were standing there. And he said something about, uh, he mentioned that he had some extra champagne bottles or something. And uh, oh, okay. if Nick was to pull through in the playoff, would we want to be on standby? Yeah, <laughs> give him a little shower. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, we were ready. And apparently, I was the only one that got the memo by the fourth playoff poll. So, um, after celebrating, you know, quickly, I grabbed it and um, I had my line. I, I read it perfectly to get out there. I went around the corner, and um, unfortunately, somebody saw me coming around the corner and, and uh, did not think that I first. Yeah, did not think that I wanted to celebrate. Maybe, um, and so. Um, he came equally as, equally as hard around his corner and um, wrapped me up pretty good. But, um, you know, thankfully, obviously no injuries, um, yeah, uh, no fallout from it. Um, 
right. no issues afterwards. Obviously, once they figured it out, but yeah, it'll be the, it'll be the last time I run out to a green plane, <laughs> plain clothes with no yeah. uh, no credential. No, yeah, that was probably a funny conversation between you and Nick after that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had a, we had a laugh at that a couple days later. We saw each other in LA. Awesome. Thanks for your time, Adwin. Thank you guys. Appreciate Thanks, it. Appreciate yeah. Yep. Yeah. Thank you guys. Awesome. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks again, Adam. Yep. Have a good rest of your day. Yeah, good luck out there this weekend.